Alright, so there's uh, one more thing that I should mention with this particle ball pit, uh, and that is caching. Um, so I've, I've done videos on caching before, uh, but basically what caching is, is it goes through and it saves your sim for you so that you are able to scrub through your timeline. Um, so right now it's like doing a pretty not terrible job of populating this, but you can see it's like clearly different from if I had let the sim play out. Uh, and I, I can't really scrub backwards, it like breaks the sim. Um, so what caching does is it allows you to, again, save your simulation so that you're able to scrub through it. It doesn't take excessive amounts of time to calculate when you're working on stuff. And importantly, if you're rendering, um, it ensures that if you're rendering on multiple computers, the sim is going to be the same. Um, if your render crashes halfway through, you don't need to re-render to like get that sim information back. Um, so I've actually, excuse me, um, I've actually already created a cache for this. Um, so I'm just, it's, I'll just enable that so you can see what it looks like. Um, but you can see, you know, if I turn this on, if I turn it off, it looks the same right now. But if I turn it on, it's going to theoretically like change the, the sim a little bit uh, once you skip to a different frame. Um, but you can see that now I am actually able to scrub through that animation. Um, so again, it's, it's pretty easy to sort of like start and stop. Um, and you can, if you have multiple particle caches and stuff, you can, you know, turn certain ones off and certain other ones on. You can blend them together if you want. Um, but again, caching is really important um, so that mostly for rendering, but also so your animation doesn't like explode. Um, so to create a cache, I'll just turn this one off. Uh, you just want to grab your particle system and go up to N cache, create new cache, and N object. Um, so if you're doing like a fluid sim, you'd use the, the fluid. But um, for now, uh, so you, you can choose where you actually want this. Um, call it like cache final or something. Um, I usually don't mess with the cache format. I just let it, you know, be whatever it is. Um, file distribution. So you can make basically uh, one file per frame. Usually I just leave this at the default uh, or you can smash everything into one file. And I don't know if this honestly makes a huge difference, but I usually leave it as this. Um, my, my silly theory being that it's easier to go back and modify later if for some reason you need to, even though I don't necessarily recommend that. Um, and then you have your standard um, cache time range settings. So if you're, are you doing this based on your render settings, um, your time slider, or the specified start and end frame that you can, you can specify here. Um, so a lot of times I'll just do based on the time slider, um, but it really depends what you need. The only thing you want to be careful of is uh, looking at your render settings, maybe if you're in a specific render layer and you have your, uh, you're doing a bunch of camera cuts and like this one is set to be, you know, render 20 frames or something like that, um, you would want to make sure that it's getting the, the whole range of your animation, not just that one camera angle. Um, so the interesting stuff with this, I guess, is going to be evaluate every one frames and save every however many evaluations. Too many alarms set, sorry. Um, so this is basically going, and you can set this to, say, evaluate every three frames. I don't recommend that for any kind of sim, in my opinion, you should be doing at a minimum every frame, otherwise it could theoretically break your, uh, break your sim. Um, or the weird thing with this is you can actually set this to partial frames. Um, so if you need a little bit more resolution, maybe you're having um, certain instances with, depending on what you're doing, um, one frame is like a little bit too much of a gap where, you know, an object, this is like kind of a thing with end cloth I found, but um, your, your end cloth might go in and start clipping through something because one frame is too big of a jump for it. But if you evaluate every, you know, 0.25 frames, uh, it's going to give you that extra resolution where hopefully it'll catch that before the end cloth is like clipping through an object and kind of fix your sim. Um, so that's an option that's sort of like be aware of what that is and then save every one evaluations. Um, this is kind of usually if you just do one frame, just leave it for every one. Um, if you're doing something like 0.25 and you don't need all of that information for like the, the middle of frames, um, you would want to go ahead and set that to four. So basically this is still saving every one frame of animation. So it's calculating for each frame four calculations, but it's only saving each fourth one. Um, Cause if you're, when you're doing the actual animation you're rendering, you don't need all that inside data unless maybe you're doing something like a slow motion, in which case you would want to save every one evaluation. Um, if you have ample storage space on your computer or like for particle sims, it's not gonna make a huge difference. Um, the caches don't get that big, but for stuff like fluid sims and stuff, the caches can be like two gigs each or something crazy. 
Um, so just sort of like be aware of like those saving settings and what they are. Um, but you should be pretty much good once you've set this up however you want it. Um, I'll just go back and set this to one. Go ahead and apply this. So since I already have a cache on here, it's saying, do I want to blend this in uh, or do I want to replace it? And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Um, if you do add and blend, you, you'll get like a little slider basically, and you can sort of like toggle between um, when you want this cache to work and when you want the other cache. So I'm just going to go ahead and like I said, oops, uh, no object name matches the final. What? Um, what have I done here? No doubt something silly. Uh, I did that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Grabbing layers. Okay. Great. Um, I feel like there's probably some dumb thing that I need to do at, to go through. It's probably honestly because I changed the particle name and particle shape one. And I will change the capitalization of that. Mm -hmm. Replace, darn it. Okay, cool. That was weird. Um, cool. Yeah, so I'm just going to go and do replace existing. So once you start a cache, um, really? Ugh, okay, fine. Uh, I need to figure out where I put this cache. Real time troubleshooting. Um, so I'm just. Oh. Ha. That's awkward. Um, I think I know what was happening. I was working, uh, my project is set to a external drive and the drive for some reason has disconnected from my computer. So either way, um, I'm just, it's gonna take a minute to connect back to that. So what should happen when you start a cache, oh shush, is um, it's basically going to play through your animation and sort of like calculate everything and then just go from there. Um, and once it's run through, it actually calculated everything you should be able to, again, have this little cache here like we had previously um, and scrub through your timeline, all that good stuff. Um, so just imagine that that had happened, um, but that's more or less caching with the ball pit. And the only other really five second thing that I, I wanted to mention is that, uh, as you can see from this preview render, these uh, do will rent particles if you set them to spheres, will render in your Arnold renders. Um, I believe, if I'm not going crazy, you can actually set them to um, have their own textures and such. Uh, if you're so inclined, but I usually just, uh, again, depending on what you need, sort of leave them as the default random colors. Uh, and you should be able to, unless I'm going crazy, uh, you should be able, so like, weird bonus piece, actually, I'm just gonna do this in a separate video, I think it'll make more sense. Uh, also, I have no idea if it'll work, so we'll see, we'll see. Words, 